Hold on, hold on. Can I help you? Uh, no, nah, boy. You, you work for me, man. What you talking about, Flo? Uh, I, don't, I don't work for you. What you talking about, man? I'm, I'm with the Lavelle Crawford. I am the Lavelle Crawford. Nah, nah, nah. I'm talking about the Lavelle Crawford. Junior. Yeah. Junior, what you doing, man? What's going on? I pay them better than you. You paying them? Yeah. Boy, come on, stop playing with me for real. You got far them acting a fool. Tell them, tell them what we got going on. Tell them. I got, we got a 30 city tour. Just tonight, y'all got 30 city. 30 city yeah. tour. We actually got a 40 city tour now. 40 just... city now? 40? They just, damn! You gonna put the fur on for mm, That boy is hot. Now that's a 40 city jacket. Can y'all put me on the dates then? Mom needs you. Wow, it's like that, huh? Sorry, it's just business. What can I say, We're man? Being in touch. I love you, though, man. Love you, man. We'll be in touch, though. But uh, speaking of money, man, when I'm getting paid? Huh? What you mean, huh? Oh, now you got a hearing problem? Well, what's up with our money? Uh, I don't know, man. Give me, like, six months, man. Six, six months? months? Boy, is you crazy? Hey, you know, hey, 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 bro, 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 Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for the Grammy-nominated The Lavelle Crawford! What's up, New Orleans? Yes, I am THE Lavelle Crawford. Well, not the one you thought was coming out, but I am the most handsomest. And funniest. <laughs> well, my dad was nominated for a Grammy because of me, and he should have won. But I told my dad, if you want to win this time, put me back on the show. <laughs> and you see who's back. <laughs> my dad said, if you don't win this time, he gonna whoop my butt on Instagram Live. <laughs> so he better win. Give it up for the Grammy nominated the man you came to see, the Lavelle Crawford! Young king, I let him sit in the throne, and all of a sudden he think he better than me. You see how you kids do? They don't appreciate shit, bro. I probably got that little fur coat on. He better get that back to his mama. <laughs> Walking out here looking like a baby pimp. Look at him. That's my man. Now one more time for Lavelle Wilson, Maurice the second. Yeah, give it up for yourself, New Owl yeah, this is a place where you can get drunk, fat, robbed, raped, <laughs> cursed. <laughs> hey, you know a place, this is a thug ass city, cuz they got tours to cemetery. What the fuck I want? <laughs> you want to see a ghost? No! <laughs> the fuck is that about? You? <laughs> that ain't got shit out the show? <laughs> Got working ghosts down here at uh, Ghosts on break. Uh oh. Boo. Boo ghosts. <laughs> Black ghosts getting fired. Get out of here, ghost Tyrell. Stupid ass. Can't even be a ghost. Give me another chance. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I like New Orleans. Y'all cook everything in this bitch. You, you say, man, I want some rabbit right down the street. Mother, motherfucker got rabbit and dumplings. Who the fuck said? <laughs> That's like, yeah, I want some dumplings and some rabbit. Girl, I seen someone running in my yard yesterday on the menu. How the fuck I can hit one in the car and won't have to pay shit? Then you got stuffed crab, got frog legs. Motherfucking alligator ain't got a chance in this bitch. 
alligators don't scare the people around this bitch. <laughs> alligators swore up at me, hey man, hide me, hide me, dog. These motherfuckers ain't playing now. <laughs> I, and I don't blame them. I be scared of them swamp people, too. You know swamp people? Yo, I got one over here, old son. Oh, you big baby. Come on in here, baby. Ah, 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 ah. Hold it still. Let me get a shot. They be fucking them alligators up. Be having 30 in the boat. Oh, that's a good one, that shit. I mean, like, what the fuck these alligators do to you? <laughs> I would have never known alligator was that delicious <laughs> if it wasn't for y'all. I didn't even know. Alligator delicious? They say it tastes like chicken. A little bit. I don't know. It's good, though. Put in that sauce, fry that bitch up. I seen them barbecue a motherfucker. Oh, I don't think I want to look at that bitch looking at me while it's cooking. Take his head off. I don't know how to eat him. What the fuck you cooking for? He <laughs> looking at you. I'm going to go around the back and eat. <laughs> no, no, all the some tough people in the world. Y'all went through a fucking flood, a hurricane, and y'all move back to this shit. <laughs> like it's safe. I was, I was like, I'm gone, bitch. That, that, that shit gonna happen again. <laughs> but y'all left, boy. They should have never named that Hurricane Katrina anyway. That was a black name. Katrina don't play. <laughs> Katrina fucked this shit up, you know? But it's like Hurricane Matthew. It was like, oh, just a little tropical storm. <laughs> Hurricane Katrina, that's not like when my shit starting cuz come all in your house, tearing your shit up, flooding shit out, stealing shit. <laughs> but I'm glad y'all back to one of the greatest cities in the world right here, man. One of the greatest cities. This city boy ain't no joke down this bitch. City ain't no motherfucker joke. The homeless got talent down this motherfucker. I seen a dude dressed like Batman and Superman. He had on Superman type, Batman. <laughs> Playing the guitar. I was like, well, goddamn. <laughs> Superman, Batman. <laughs> Play that guitar. Bang, 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 bang. He's over around here, don't play though. They be in the slot, they be in the casino sitting right next to you, waiting for you to hit. You got spare change? <laughs> no, I don't. Nigga, come on, you just hit a hundred. Come on. <laughs> I thought you were a gambler. <laughs> I was hoping you win. Oh, man, <laughs> and I don't pick on homeless people. I, I see them all over the world. I mean, because I, I only join on homeless adults, not children. I don't talk about but homeless adults. I be looking at them niggas like, yeah, you could have shut the fuck up and stayed in that goddamn house, but your ass in them streets talking your shit at the house. Fuck you, bitch. You need to pay these bills and cut this grass. Oh, I don't need to do shit. Get the fuck out. Wait a minute. Now your ass in the street, laying in some doo doo. And you could have been in the house. And I, cause I was in, I was in fucking Baltimore. Now they ho, they homeless on another level of that bitch. Them motherfuckers afflicted. You ever be around motherfuckers to be? I don't even know why they're out in the street. I know they getting a check. The fuck are you out in the street begging for change? This nigga was out in the street. They didn't have no arm. Had a sponge taped to his forehead. <laughs> and he walked up on my window and spilled on my window. He had wind inside his mouth and started stop. <laughs> he was putting blue magic in Windex. He was cleaning it and smudging it at the same time. I said, stop, nigga, you fucking it up. <laughs> Give me some change. Here, nigga, where you want me to put that? Put it in my mouth. That nigga was a cash register. <laughs> Why are you out here? I need the money for what, nigga? You ain't got no arm, you can't even spend it. It was, it, it was a reflecting home. They had a nigga out there 
who <laughs> his legs was on backwards. I for real, and his head was like this. <laughs> and the nigga walked like he was in a band. Like he was in one of them Gremlin bands, like boy. And yeah, and I said, oh my God, what the fuck is wrong with you? He said, I have reverse syndrome. I said, nigga, you need your own telethon. How the fuck, what? I never heard of reverse syndrome. And he was trying to explain to me. I said, here, my nigga, I don't even want here. Here's my debit card. The code is 4016. Get your ass out of here. And while I was saying this, I was in an Uber, and the motherfucker that was driving the Uber must have been the devil himself. The man walked up to his window, and the nigga gonna look at this poor man with reverse syndrome and say, get a job, motherfucker. I went, I got out of that motherfucking car immediately, because I knew we was going straight to the devil's house. How the fuck you gonna tell a man with reverse syndrome to get a job? What fucking kind of job could he get? Helping niggas back out of parking space who don't have a rear camera? Hold on, hold on, hold on, come on back. Come on back, hold on nigga, I fell, I fell, hold on. Walking scared niggas home. Ain't nobody back there, that was a leaf. Get a job? The fuck wrong with you, you evil bastard? He had reverse syndrome. All his shit on backwards. I don't know how that happened. What was his mama doing? Was she eating a, a Flintstone vitamin mix with a, with a, with a docolax? I don't know. What's wrong with you? What the fuck? <laughs> and you know, I, I don't make fun of homeless people, but especially when I see a homeless woman, I give her money uh, uh, automatically. Automatically, because I see a homeless woman out there, I be like, oh my God. It's not that I see my sister, or I see my mother, or my wife out in the street. When I see a homeless woman out in the street, my heart just drops, because I'm saying to myself, Oh my God, her pussy don't work no more. That's the only, that's the only reason she out there. Because ain't no reason when you got that down there, you in the fucking streets. Cause the blue book value on pussy don't run out. I mean, dick run out, dick run out. If you, if you getting way past on your dick, you better hang with that ugly ass woman because ain't nobody else want you. You hear me? Pussy don't run out. Pussy work when you ain't doing shit, for real. Bro, you just lay back, just like, yeah. That's it, Mr. Johnson. You turn it up, Mr. Johnson. You rubbed the back of his head. Ooh, you almost in my stomach, Mr. Johnson. <laughs> he get excited. Ooh, ooh, I bet. should I slow down? I don't want to hurt you. Am I in your stomach? <laughs> and that coochie get so good, though. Niggas be making promises they can't keep. God damn, I don't know why you in them streets. Shit, you need a four family flat. <laughs> Shit, this coochie so good, you need a Chevy Traverse. Girl, I get done, I'm gonna buy you a duplex. I don't give a fuck. You'll never be in the streets again. <laughs> and write all that shit down. So as he bust that nut, he go, uh, uh, before, you, before you lay down, let's get over to the real estate place. Cause you said I get a duplex. Who said that? I have it all on a piece of paper and I recorded you. So you said this pussy was good enough to get, and we need to go to the car dealership. Cause I want a Chevy Traverse too. <laughs> That's why I don't, when I'm fucking, I don't make no promises I can't keep. I'm like, God damn, that pussy's so good. You need a value meal. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shit, I can afford, God damn. Well, I'm gonna buy you everything in the dollar store. God damn! <laughs> but 
But I, I be sitting up there trying to figure out why these people, afflicted people, be out in these damn streets. You know, I be like, what the fuck are you doing out there in these streets? I mean, I don't know why you homeless, you out there, you got no arms, you know, and you should be at home, motherfucker got reverse syndrome. The fuck you doing out in the street? And I know why. It's strong black mamas. Strong black mamas, they don't let your ass feel sorry for your damn self. You can't be black, strong black mama, make your ass, yeah, inspire your goofy ass to get up and do something. You be feeling like you can't do it. Strong black mamas will make your ass get the fuck up and go get it. You, you remember Ray Charles? Remember Ray? Ray was blind in the motherfucker. He was like, mama. Mama, I can't see. A devil is a lie. You can see your hands are eyes, your feet are eyes. Get your ass up. You ain't gonna be blind. Get up, Ray, and walk down there. He's stepping on shit. Round. That was a cat. Ting a ling a ling. That was a window. Burn, burn, burn. That was a bus. Get your ass in here, Ray. You ain't ready yet. You almost got hit by that fucking bus. That's why that nigga out there with no arms. Mama, I'm useless. I ain't got no arm, and my booty itching like a motherfucker. I ain't gonna be able to do nothing. A devil is a lie. <laughs> your, your feet are your arms. Your knees are your arms. Your head is a hand. Take this sponge to your forehead and put this Windex in your mouth and get out there and shine them windows like you never shined before. But don't swallow that Windex. <laughs> that nigga got that reverse syndrome. <laughs> Mama, people look at me funny because I walk in the road. <laughs> a devil is a lie. They mad at you because they walking the wrong way. You go on and walk wrong and look behind you. How many people know where they come from? <laughs> I remember my mom, I would tell my mom, girls don't like me. They keep saying I'm a fat and ugly. My mom said, the devil is a lie. Ain't nothing ugly about my baby. <laughs> they call me fat too. Well, they ain't lying about that. <laughs> but you ain't ugly. <laughs> That's my child, man. I love him to death. I mean, he, he made me get my life together, you know. You got a damn kid, you can't raise him in the hood, but every kid I know from the hood do pretty good, you know? I mean, his life, I don't know if he gonna do that well, you know? <laughs> every kid you know from LeBron James and Lil Wayne, they father wasn't in their life, you know? They became successful. I gotta leave, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shit, my daddy left, my daddy, <laughs> I just met him three years ago. <laughs> Nigga ain't doing shit. I was like, I thought he was at least a rich millionaire or something. This nigga ain't doing it. He lived with his first baby mama. He ain't, ain't doing a goddamn thing. I was like, he ain't gonna tell my son, it's great to see you. I'm glad you're in my life. I, I'm not really in your life, you know, because, you know, I can't live with you. You, know, I was you think I can stay with you a few days? I was like, fuck no, you can't stay with me. He said, like, why not? I didn't get to stay with you. You gonna think I'm gonna turn the tide? I ain't forgot, nigga. You miss, you miss 54 birthdays. <laughs> Talking about your mama didn't tell me about it. She told you, nigga. <laughs> my, <laughs> my mama didn't tell me about you. That's what it was. I stay, I, I, I stay in touch with him, but not like that. Cause the other dude who I thought was my father, he he was a gay man, but I was cool with it. I didn't give a fuck. He wasn't gay when he made my sisters, you know what I'm saying? He was gay part-time. I just 
I was just a little worried about the gay part because I wasn't ready. I ain't in that kind of shape. You know what I'm saying? I ain't in gay shape. Gay dudes in great shape. They real slim. They eat right. They work with each other. And I don't know if I was ready. I ain't know if it was hereditary. That's why I didn't ever go get a... Uh, <laughs> A prostate is now. I'm not afraid the doctor's gonna click on my gay button. You know, he be like, he be up there, he like, ooh, doctor, hold on, click, mm. <laughs> Now keep your finger right there, doctor. So how long you been a doctor? <laughs> but I was in San Francisco Man, you know, there's a large gay population in San Francisco. <laughs> I'm so sorry. And I, I don't know why people get in and say, boy, that way, whatever. I don't have no problem with whatever choice. That's between you and Jesus. When y'all get there, that's who's going to answer. I have no rules and regulations for nobody. But I was at that one day, and I realized <laughs> that I can't stay in no five-star hotel. I am, I am not a, equipped for them amenities, because I was in there. And I don't know if this is the reason why people turn gay, but I was in there and I had to go to the bathroom right? and it's in the toilet in my room. And then and, it, <laughs> and, and I had to do the number two. So I walked in, I seen the toilet seat. I said, oh, this is very nice. This look like it's load bearing. It's like a strong seat here. So I went on, sit down and start dropping it like it's hot, you know? And then looked over, it was remote. I said, oh, wow, you can watch TV while you're sitting there? But the remote said washer, right? So I had just, you know, pressed the on button. And next thing you know, <laughs> a warm, soothing stream of water flew up in my hole. <laughs> and it felt so good. <laughs> I couldn't take my finger off the button. <laughs> I mean, I was there for almost 30 minutes. <laughs> thinking that my life was just flashing before my eyes. Have I made wrong choices? <laughs> Has this been part of my life all my time? How is it getting up right in my hole? <laughs> Man, I'm gonna have to pick out an outfit for the, for the pride parade. I was like... Oh my God! <laughs> and next, you know, it had this other button that says <laughs> the 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 the, uh, the the sprinkler, right? Where you press this something, and, and a sprinkler of water goes around hitting your balls and coming back hitting your hole and your ball. So this damn toilet seat was turning me the fuck out. Next, you know. Water started coming out of my mouth. I was drowning myself from the inside. Finally, I was able to get up. But it was too late. The toilet seat had broke me. I was just looking at it like, how long you been doing this? Are you gonna be here when I get back? I'm gonna miss you, I gotta go, but I'm coming right back. And I had to tell somebody, so I shared it with my brother. <laughs> my brother worked for me, and we on the road together, and I went and I said, dog, have you tried the toilet seat? It's amazing, dude, it changed me. It changed me to a point where I don't know what I am anymore. And that brother looked at me, don't bitch ass motherfucker. I know you had hoe in you, old punk ass motherfucker. It hurt my feelings, because I was sharing with him. I should have just kept my mouth shut. Next morning, we had to catch a flight. I'm downstairs wondering where the fuck he at. We almost missed our plane. I had to go up and knock on this door. I was like, yo, bro, what you doing? He said, I'll be out in a minute. <laughs> I looked, <laughs> he was in that bitch. Water coming from under the sink. It was coming from under the door. This motherfucker in there twerking on this bitch. <laughs> it broke both of us. No, but 
but I, but I, I, I love my children. You know, I, I'm 54 now, and shit, I'm grown. I ain't old, I'm just grown. You know, but it's shit I just don't do no more. It's like eating Captain Crunch. I try to eat that Captain Crunch, that motherfucker. I don't have Captain Crunch teeth. You understand? <laughs> Captain Crunch, I'm a, I thought I let the let it sit in milk long enough. That shit fucked my goddamn teeth up. I only had 21, and I'm down, I'm down to 19. I was like, shit, well, I must have been a lieutenant. <laughs> Captain Crunch, you had to be suicidal to eat that shit. I, I can't eat nothing with milk in it, man. That shit run right out my soul. Right out of my ass. I might as well. I just stand by the toilet when I eat smoke milk. I'm grown, man. I can't. There's <laughs> a lot of shit. That, that's why I'm glad I got my son. That nigga got to read the menu for me. I look at that. What that shit say? He got to, I got a CNI Negro. That's what I got. <laughs> I, I love, I got a beautiful wife, two, three beautiful kids, man. I, I just want to, I, I just, you know, I, I ain't worried about that. I just want to leave them some generation of wealth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, oh yeah. Just about two generations, no more than that. I don't know the motherfuckers when they get around the third generation. I'm like, fuck it, I don't know y'all. You know? Yeah, but, you know, just because, you know, I want my kids not to have to worry about trying to bury their parents and shit. I be hating to see that niggas on GoFundMe on, online and shit trying to bury their damn kid. That shit is bad looking, you know? Fuck that nigga, get a policy. Leave some burial policy. Leave, leave, leave about 10 grand, put your ass in the water, uh, or sign the clause where we can burn your monkey ass up. I mean, ain't nothing wrong with sending your motherfucking body on fire. Just that, that's easy, ain't gotta worry about shit. Boo, that motherfucker gone. <laughs> You cry, it'd be like a barbecue. <laughs> but I, I just, I, I, I just want them. It's embarrassing to see that. And they, my cousin back in the day, they had raffle tickets and shit, trying to bury their mama and shit. It, the, the, the church was packed. It was packed like a motherfucker, but nobody was there for the funeral. They was all there. See who's gonna win the television. It, <laughs> my motherfucker interrupt the past. Hey, past, you know, I know you're doing your shit now, but. Who won the TV? That's what we need to know. Everybody in there, yeah, I'm trying to figure. I got number 830. Did you call that? <laughs> See, white folks don't play with that funeral shit. They don't play. They don't Bill died today. When was his funeral? Yesterday. Them motherfuckers don't bullshit. White people, they, they funeral be quick. They don't have it at no church and all that bullshit. They don't have no turf, turf, fuck that. They right at the graveyard. Man, them motherfuckers. One lady get up, <laughs> Bill. Uh -oh. One guy get up. Yeah, I want to say a few words about Bill. <laughs> Bill loved the Saints. Who that? <laughs> Who that? <laughs> he loved our Saints. He, he, was a, he was a good guy. He loved fishing. He loved that red fish. God damn, he loved his fucking bass boat, his wife and kids, and the strip club off Bourbon Street. <laughs> Rest in peace, Bill. And they throw dirt on his ass, go right to Buffalo Wild Wing. <laughs> Be sitting in there, come out, don't you want to go where everybody knows your name? Blah, 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 blah. Next thing you know, they kissing each other in the mouth. Kiss the dog in the mouth and they take their goofy ass home. I ain't never been to a Chinese funeral, but I know it start off like this. They walk in, take their shoes off, put a little egg roll on a plate. They arigato, hit the gong, doom, and take they, and they get a pedicure and a manicure and take their ass on home. Mexican funeral, they have a parade. Them motherfuckers have a little man come up, the body in a low rider in the back, just bouncing up like this. Little man with a trumpet come up. Bah, 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 bah. The little man come up with a suit on. Soul of me, oh. Enchilada. Burrito. Burrito, burrito, que so dia. Chimichanga, chimichanga, chimichanga. 
Tortilla. They buried the whole body in the graveyard. They throw dirt on Then they open up a taco stand right there, selling oranges and taco right there, and looking for work. That's it. <laughs> Black folk, we just don't do it right. I don't want all that old stupid ass fear. Mama died on Thursday. They came and bury her ass because they ain't got like my cousin. They had they had enough money for the funeral. Didn't have enough money for her outfit, so they buried her in their work uniform. <laughs> She laying, in, she, 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 she laying in the coffin with her Wendy's uniform on. They ain't even wash the smells off. She's smelling like a number three. Had the wrong name tag on. Her name Rita. They had Consuela on her day tag. Consuela said, that's my name tag. I don't like all that punk ass friend. You can bury me a seat. Fuck all that, you don't have to do all that bullshit, motherfucker. Lying, talking about they give a fuck about me. Oh, you gonna be missed. Fuck all that punk ass shit. Then the preacher up there preaching. Uh, I told Isaac uh, when Jesus was here, uh, he told Elijah, Isaac don't go down to the water. I said, Luke, uh, don't you dare <laughs> go down to that water. He looked over at Ezekiel and said, Ezekiel, don't you come near that water? <laughs> he looked up yonder. <laughs> he said, Sarah, stay up on the hill. <laughs> Sarah, Sarah, don't go near that water. I know you want to go by that water, but I'm standing right now. Don't you come? <laughs> Don't you dare come. Stay away. Don't get in there. If you do, something will happen. God, oh, yeah. I say, nigga, shut the fuck up. You ain't even open up the Bible. I don't know what the fuck you talking about. What water, motherfucker? You don't need all that bullshit. I don't want all that. And then I know my cousin's gonna bring her funky ass to the funeral. She always show up to family and friends day, motherfucker past anniversary. She always try to get on the program because she thinks she can sing. You know, she got a CD with four fucking songs on it. That's it. And <laughs> she can't sing worth shit. I mean, I ain't trying to shit on her. I don't try to steal nobody's dream. But damn it, she can't sing. She got a speech impediment. <laughs> she whistles when she talks. You know she gonna whistle when she sing. But the pastor put her ass on the day, put her on the program. Before we end service today, we have a blessing. Young Hattie, Hattie Crawford will come to the stage right now. She got a beautiful, inspiring CD in the back with one for the soul stirring the songs. Only for $25. You can get all four songs, and I tell you, they will change your life. Come on up, Hattie. Come on up. <laughs> Come on. <clears throat> How's everybody doing? It's a blessing to be in God's presence one more time. It's so wonderful to see everybody here. I just wish that he didn't have to go so soon, but I'm going to do my best to, to sing his favorite song. Y'all just sit back and just be inspired and pray, pray for me. I'm a little horse. <laughs> she look over at the pianist. She 
got real excited. Come on, sing with me, church. Everybody was like, <laughs> man, there was so many dogs in the parking lot. Tell these jokes, make y'all laugh, man. It's a blessing, man. Yeah. Thank God, greater heaven and earth for doing this, man. And if it was up to me, I would fuck this up. You understand? I'm making a living telling jokes. I, I don't walk around with an arrogance, like, oh, I'm the shit. Uh, uh, no, fuck all that. I got the little throne up in this bitch. I don't want to be in that bitch. I let my son see that motherfucker. Nigga, I'm making a living telling fucking joke. If it was up to me, I'd fuck it. I'd fuck up diets. I know I'd fuck up this goddamn show. But I'm up here telling jokes because y'all come out and have fun with the motherfucker. We have fun. I don't give a fuck. You need to laugh. They all got this cancer punk ass coaching and shit. Hey, you can't talk about that. Shut your bitch ass up. I don't know you. I don't know your stinking ass life. I'm just talking about shit that happened to me. I don't know your punk ass. Comedians just gotta go for it and just have fun. And I'm not here to dog nobody out. Everybody got feeling. I heard they got, they, all of a sudden you can't, you can fat shame, you can't fat shame. I didn't even know that was a word. When I weigh 550 pounds, motherfuckers shame the fuck out of me every day. Fat ass just gonna just keep swelling up. Fat ass just keep sweating. Fat ass always eat. Your fat ass can't get out of the chair, can you? How fat you gonna get? I be like, I love you too, grandma. <laughs> But I don't pick on nobody for their choices. I have a comedian friend, he was so, he's funny as shit, but sometimes some comedians just get comfortable in saying stuff about people. I, I, don't, I don't pick on genders and, you know, choices and stuff. You know, like, he, he always get up and I say, don't do that gay joke, leave them gay people alone. As long as they, they pay the ticket, let them motherfuckers laugh. They ain't come here, he fuck with your ass, all we want to pick on. He, he still don't give a, he walk up, any gay people in the house? And, then, and then one night he said, that shit, and the little gay dude must have been waiting to say, yes, I'm gay. <laughs> and he stood up with it proud, and he gonna say, why don't you try some pussy sometime? <laughs> Hurt the little gay dude, heart. The little dude sat down, <gasps> and I thought he was just ruined. Next thing you know, he came back with a bullet. Bow! He said, well, I'll try some pussy if you try sucking a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Took his whole show off the rail. Fuck this motherfucker! You suck a dick, you motherfucker. I don't suck no goddamn dick. I ain't gay, motherfucker. Talk, fuck you, that He was just snapping. And I said, easy. We know you're not gay today. <laughs> You know, I mean, I'm blessed to do this shit. I don't give a fuck. I got, I tell the joke for me because people don't like to work no more. They don't give a fuck about work. Motherfucker, for real, for real. I remember back when people had pride for their job, man. For this pandemic and shit, motherfuckers had pride. They over there get them stamina chicks now. These niggas like, fuck a pussy ass job. <laughs> job for a dumb ass motherfucker. I, 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 all right, well, you got dinner. You ain't got no money. Fuck a broke ass. I fucking don't like more. I remember my cousin. He first he got a he he got a, he got a manager, manager and supervisor job at the dollar store. He was talking shit too. <laughs> like yeah, man, that comedy don't work out, cuz. Let me know. <laughs> I got a place for you right here at the dollar store. I said I keep that in mind, my nigga. <laughs> you know I'm the manager and supervisor, nigga. I know you everything in that bitch. You, Security, the maintenance man, motherfucker, <laughs> the cash, yeah, stock boy, dollar store, can't pay nobody else, motherfucker. But he gonna hire his sister on, right? He gonna hire his sister on. She, she got arrogant too, to my, well, just letting you know, you ain't the only one doing nothing. And I found it, I made employee of the month. <laughs> I said, well, damn, cuz. Congratulations! <laughs> and you know what they gave her for me to blow up? They gave her a parking space. <laughs> that ain't the funny part. She ride the bus to work. <laughs> Every lunch break, she's sitting, <laughs> she's sitting in the chair in that parking space. Now. <laughs> Go around, bitch, this man. 
this is mine right here. Don't even come over here. <laughs> shit, this is my shit. All of this month. Right, my cousin Lev is driving the dollar store. <laughs> that motherfucker, motherfucker came in. I ain't no people come in there and complain at the dollar store. This motherfucker came in, I need to see a manager and or a supervisor. I said, cuz, he calling both of you. <laughs> that nigga ready to, yes sir, what, what, what can I do for you? He said, yes, yeah, sir. Uh, I bought these socks yesterday and they had holes in them. And my cousin said, I'm terribly sorry. Get another bag on me. I was like, nigga, for real? I wish I was the supervisor. I checked the fuck out. I said, nigga, it's the dollar store. They supposed to have holes in them, motherfucker. What the fuck you buy 200 pair of socks for a dollar and they good socks? Then he, gonna, he said another complaint. I bought these earrings for my daughter. <laughs> they gave her a rash. My, my cousin said, I'm terribly sorry, sir. Free bottle of peroxide on me. <laughs> like, fuck that dude. I was like, man, I should call CPS on your motherfucking horrible father ass for buying your daughter some dirty ass dollar earrings. They supposed to give her a rash, nigga. Her ears should have fell the fuck off. Damn, dollar, motherfucker. Dollar store funny. They got food up in that bitch. No offense to anybody in here that getting their groceries at the dollar store. But if you do, you better eat them all in line. Yo, hey, you, you, can't, you can't come back the next day. Excuse me, I, I bought this lunch meat. <laughs> it made my stomach hurt, but... Well, you blessed, motherfucker. Because you should have died. Because it, before it came in here, it was in the Kroger for nine years. I bought these eggs and they was hatched. <laughs> we'll take them over to aisle three where they mama at. Motherfucker. <laughs> oh, motherfucker, love they job. But mother, I remember back in the day when motherfuckers, remember, when motherfuckers had pride, remember they was having battles with Chick-fil-A and Popeye was, Popeye, Chick-fil-A, Popeye. I was like, hey man, I know I'm down in New Orleans, but no offense, Chick-fil-A killed motherfucker Popeye. <laughs> hey, uh, stop, calm down, ma'am, I know you the chicken queen. Relax, yo. Happy ass now, she got real. Damn, look at her. Popeye's to give you a free biscuit for your <laughs> your loyalty, sit your happy ass. Uh-uh. Let me finish. God damn, she got mad. Uh -uh. No, you ain't gonna come here and say Popeye. I did, God damn. I said, in service. <laughs> yeah, now shut your ass up. You know I ain't wrong about that. For real, <laughs> cause I've been to Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A have a line around the building 19 motherfucking times. 19 times. They get everybody over that little white boy coming. Hi, welcome to Chick-fil-A, man, I help you. <laughs> My boy had a haircut. Barbara got two in the line, two with number three. They're gonna come around. And, you know, and I mean, I ain't gonna say the food better. Chick-fil-A food, only thing Chick-fil-A got old pop at that motherfucking lemonade. It's made by angel tears, you understand me? <laughs> Nigga, I pull, I wait in that line all day to get that motherfucking lemonade. And then I get that bitch extra ice, drink that bitch down right at the window. <laughs> Put that cup right back on that bitch. Put that bitch up again. <laughs> drink it down and says, <laughs> sir, it's the line. Around the corner, I don't give a fuck. They can wait. Give me more goddamn lemonade. Them nuggets dry as fuck. Only thing make them right is that Polynesian sauce. 
I don't know where the fuck Polynesia is. There's only two sauces in the world. I, I don't know where the fuck they come from. Ranch and Polynesia. I don't know where neither one of them bitches come from. But when you put both them bitches on this stool, I eat this whole goddamn stool. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> During the pandemic, I almost died because I got Polynesia and ranch on my man and I ate my goddamn man. <laughs> I risked the virus for the deliciousness. <laughs> you pull up in that bitch, right? <laughs> Hi, I'm Dale. I'm here to help. How can I assist you today with your Chick-fil-A order? Yes, Dale, uh, give me a uh, 15 gallon of that delicious lemonade, extra ice, and Four gallons of your Polynesian though. <laughs> and four nuggets, please. Thank you. <laughs> That'll be an 8979. And you have a blessed day. <laughs> Shit, you join a church and get something to eat at one fucking restaurant. <laughs> Shit. Dude, try that at Popeye. You can't even get in the damn door. We out of spicy. <laughs> we out of my we can't make no chicken sandwich because we out of bread. The grease ain't getting hot. Sheridan fell in the back. They fighting at the drive through window. They shooting at the drive through <laughs> Somebody dead in the dining room. <laughs> Shit, I just want to use the bathroom. It's been broke since 1987. <laughs> you know I ain't lying, she ain't argue one. He ain't lying. I mean, chicken used to be fire, pop out. Them motherfuckers. I think they, I love black people, but they shouldn't work in fast food. Fire, I, that's only where my civil rights stop, right in fast food. Black people shouldn't work in the motherfuckers because they horrible. I mean, you can, you, and you, and if they in a mood, you fucked. <laughs> you gotta be extra nice to niggas. <laughs> How's your day? It's good. What this nigga on? Nothing. <laughs> cause, cause if you fuck up, your ass gonna have undone chicken with a dead mouse in your bag. You're like, what the fuck is this? And you drive back around. That's what you ordered, sir. You ordered a chicken in the mouth. Bitch, I did it. She got it printed on the receipt and everything. Why would I want a mouse? Bye-bye, <laughs> they don't want to work. I, 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 especially you go to Mother Hood and White uh, Popeyes, it is. You had, they, they, that service get ragged, motherfucker. That motherfucker, Popeyes supposed to close at 10 o'clock. That motherfucker be shutting down by 9 15. <laughs> they turn down the drive through menu light. They put up the chairs in the dining room. <laughs> I pull up in the motherfucker drive through anyway. I know. I used to work there. I know. That's exactly what I used to do. And I see the car parked in the back. I know they in there. <laughs> <laughs> I be like, hello? Are you open? Hello, is anyone in there? These motherfuckers ain't turned the intercom off. They trying to whistle. Just don't say nothing. Wait, there's got to be someone in there. There's a car parked in the back. <laughs> they still won't let us in. I, I can hear you breathing. Finally, motherfucker, what? Yes, yes, fuck, shit. May I help you? I, oh, thank God, I thought you were close. <laughs> it's a blessing. Uh, for, what, what you want, man? Uh, first of all, uh, could you turn the draft menu back on? <laughs> so I can see what kind of specials you got? <laughs> I don't need to do that, I know all the specials. I said, well, <laughs> you must be the manager and the supervisor. 
<laughs> he said, something like that. I said, well, let me know what the specials are. Lay it on me. <laughs> this motherfucker was ready to go. He said, we got a 50 piece of chicken for $5. Sorry, did I hear you right? Did you say you had 50 pieces of chicken for five dollars? Yes, 50 pieces of chicken for five dollars. Wow. This is a hell of a deal now. I mean, let me think about this, sir. Cause I get all the, the coupons in the mail and I watch all the good commercials and not once did I ever hear Annie the Chicken Queen say, come now and get a 50 piece of chicken for $5. You sure that's right? Yes, 50 pieces of chicken for $5. You want it or not? It sounds like a sensational deal. I wasn't even expecting anything at this time. I'm, you know, the Lord put it on my heart <laughs> to pull in here, because I was going to go home. But I had a taste for chicken. I just really wanted a three-piece, but God said, let me <laughs> multiply that. <laughs> multiply that by 17 or something. I don't know the math. <laughs> but sir, are you telling me you're gonna bless me with 50 pieces of that, I love that chicken and Popeye, crispy, juicy, delectable, crunchy chicken that I always love for $5? Yes, $5. You want it or not? Well, I only have one question. What is it? Is it all, all dark meat? Or is it all white meat? What the fuck that matter? You get 50 pieces of chicken for five dollars. I just need to know, I just gotta know. It's half and half, motherfucker. Okay, is it all spicy? Is it all mild? It's 50 fucking pieces of chicken. Just let me know, it's mixed again. Okay, um, what kind of side orders do you get with that? <laughs> Motherfucker, you getting 50 pieces of chicken. Why would, on God's green earth, you, <laughs> you need side orders? I happen to like your side. I get a gallon of coleslaw, a gallon of coleslaw right now. Oh my God, sir. You're making me the happiest person in the whole wide world. Not only are you blessing me with 50 pieces of chicken, both spicy and mild, both black, dark meat and white meat, and on top of that, you're gonna bless me with a whole gallon of your creamy, <laughs> crunchy, tongue enraging <laughs> coleslaw. All for five dollars? Yes, nigga, five dollars. I'm getting tired of your black ass. You better go and take this deal. Oh, I really like your red beans and rice. <laughs> Fuck it, I'll give you a gallon of that too. Hold the phone. <laughs> Sir, I thought you were gonna just say fuck it, but you surprise me every turn and twist I go down. You telling me now that on top of the 50 feet of chicken, both dark me. Both white meat, both spicy and mild. A gallon of crispy, creamy coleslaw. You're gonna give me a whole gallon of your tongue tantalizing, savory, magnificent red beans and rice on top of it. Yes, motherfucker. All for five dollars. Yes, five dollars, motherfucker. Five dollars. You getting all this goddamn food for five? You better hurry up, motherfucker. I'm swear to God, I'm gonna reach this window and beat your fat ass if you don't take this goddamn order. Do you want it or not? Yeah, I do. But I have a coupon for 
for a sweet tea. I'll give you, I'll give you a gallon of that. Sir, motherfucker, I wanna hear it. You better take this fucking order, I'ma beat your monkey ass. Okay, okay, okay. It seems like our friendship is breaking up and I'm excited. I will take it all for five hours. But one last question. What is it, nigga? How many biscuits come with that? <laughs> that motherfucker didn't leave that till two o'clock in the morning. They was mad as hell. And he, I see some of y'all frustrated too. Come on, motherfucker. She about to quit Popeyes. He like. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, fuck. Hey. But, you know, like I said, you know, my, my family is my inspiration. I love my I love my kids, my wife, and my son. We moved down to Houston, Texas. You know, moved from L.A. down to Houston. Oh, yeah. Houstonians in here? Okay. Yeah, I love Texas, man. But I, I moved to the suburbs. I ain't moved to the hood. I don't move from one hood to another hood. Not the hood I fucking know to another hood I don't know. You understand me? <laughs> I ain't fuck around no hood. I drove around y'all hood. I don't know where the hood is in New Orleans, but you can make a laugh and it look like the hood, like a mom. Like I, like, I'm like, you sure that Bourbon Street? Now? <laughs> let's go to the French Quarter. Ooh, shit. Let's, let's get back to Canal Street, shit. <laughs> I, don't like, I, I, I don't like the hood no more. I was in Texas, I went down to the Fifth Ward. I was like, ooh, shit. Too many check cats and places and liquor stores for me. All these little Chinese restaurants, when you see a lot of booty, some beauty supply places, you're like, Yo, you're in the wrong place. I, my, I knew I was in the wrong area. My GPS got scared, you know? My GPS, where you going, nigga, where you going? Better turn your stupid ass around. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, please, Jesus, let me get out of here, Jesus. Please, Jesus. I, I, I knew I was safe when I started seeing Panera Bread and, and Starbucks. I was like, I ain't, that, I ain't the same nigga no more, no. That ain't me no more, Jesus. I See, black folks think I got money. I ain't got no goddamn money. My, my money all wrapped up in shit I shouldn't have bought. You know what I'm saying? I got to pay the IRS and shit. I ain't got no damn nigga talking about, give me all your money. I said, well, too late. <laughs> Everybody else who got it, motherfucker. I ain't got no money. I know you got the money. Nigga got mad because he got all he got was five dollars. That's all you got? I said, nobody carries cash anymore. <laughs> well, go to the ATM and give me out. I said, man, I forgot my pen number, you know. I'm not going over there and get insufficient funds and, and embarrass you and me. I got to pull all my cards out because I can't remember what one had money on it. You stand there with your gun. Hey, hold on. <laughs> let, let me hold the gun. You get the shit out. All this time he wasted, motherfucker. We could have been in the bank and robbed the bank right now. <laughs> nah. Now, now we live in a white neighborhood. We live in a gated community, too. We live in a gated community. I like that. Oh, I, you ever live behind a gate except for the penitentiary? You ever live behind a gate? Oh, it's nice when you ain't in jail. That gate is wonderful. No, I can motherfucker can't just say, I was this in the neighborhood. Impossible. <laughs> Security direct my mom outside the gate. She did not call, please. Get our ass out of here. <laughs> oh, man. I love that gate, boy. That gate is nice. But them white folks, the white folks are die for their neighborhood. Nigga talking about, I'm a hood nigga. You ain't no hood nigga. White folks are hood nigga. They don't play. Go through that gate without putting in that code. <laughs> this white lady ran out of her house with them houses on. Jumped in front of the car. Stop right there. <laughs> that car went, Rrr! She came around the car like she was a cop. <laughs> Do you know someone in here? <laughs> and I said, Mrs. Brown, it's me, Mr. Crawford. I live right next to you. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> you 
came through without pushing in the cold. <laughs> well, the gate was already open. I know, but the rules of the gate, you're supposed to let it close and put the cold in and come in. Go out and push the cold in and I'll, I won't bother you. I try to blast the heifer. I go out and put, try to put the cold in. I forgot that bit. I try to play it off. I said, is it two, five, one? Sir, just drive on. You don't live in this area. I said, Miss Brown, you know me. She said, you look different behind the gate, sir. They don't play, and I, and I hate that whore shit. That whore shit, that whore shit in them community neighborhood get on my nerve. That hoe, I don't mind hoe, but hoe get on my goddamn nerve. Oh, some of y'all bougie, the HOA. You know what the fuck I'm talking about. I hate them son of a bitch. They ain't help me buy that goddamn house. I always, I gotta pay they fuck ass to tell me how to live in my motherfucking house. Uh, fuck your ass, motherfucker. Won't come. Excuse me. They always send me these letters, unassuming. Uh, to whom it may concern, your grass is over regulation height. I said, bitch, I like my grass high. <laughs> People think it's snakes in my grass. They won't come on my fucking yard. <laughs> they go to whom it may concern. <laughs> hey, fuck me. You can't work on your car in front of the house. You're gonna have to work on it somewhere else. It's not running, bitch. <laughs> We gotta work on it here. What the fuck? Are you gonna help me pick it up and move it somewhere else? <laughs> to whom it may concern. <laughs> you can't barbecue in the front of your house. Sir. You smell these ribs, nigga. Everybody need us. <laughs> Everybody need us smell this smoke. <laughs> I think it's my neighbor. I think it's my funky ass neighbor sending these letters. Cause he's like, you got another one? Hey, bitch, you know I got another one. <laughs> that whole bullshit's some raggedy shit. I don't like that. They don't tell me I can't turn on my tomb and make concern. You can't have your, we're having a water drought. We can't have you turn it on your sprinkler till nine o'clock. This is my house. I got my sink on in the house. I got my shower on. Water still coming out that bitch. And my grass needs some fucking water. Mind your fucking business. Well, I gotta bring cups of water out here to please your steak and ass. Mind your business, hoa. But I think my dog about to get me in trouble cause he a, he a white dog with nigga tendency. That motherfucker. See, he a hood dog. You know, when we lived in the hood, he was all right. You know, cause in the hood, you can let your dog run loose. He'll go fuck him a little female, come back later on, he a little tired, he'll chase a couple of niggas down the street. He come in the house, yeah, she good, man. I think she pregnant again, about to have some more puppies. But in the white neighborhood, it, it ain't the same. You know, you gotta have your dog on a leash. And my, I got a little pussy ass dog, he look like he's safe. But he ain't. He he got a lot of hood in him. He, he little punk ass lobster also. So you know, in the black neighborhood, black people don't fuck with no loose dog. They see a loose dog. Oh shit! Get on the car. Get on the car. These motherfucking dog loose. Get your dog. Black people afraid of all animals. We all <laughs> snake can be this goddamn big. It's a big ass snake over here. <laughs> we don't play with nobody loose dog. We don't play. We don't pet that motherfucker. We don't give a shit. You see black people see a dog. Oh, how you doing? We walk around that bitch. You know, in the white neighborhood, my dog come out. Oh, he's so precious. Hi, you. Hi, Bella. Hi, Bella. They reach down. Hi. Oh, my God, he nipped me. I said, my dog like, bitch, don't touch me. I said, and that's my dog that bit five white people. I'm like, nigga, you gonna get us thrown out. And he really fucked up. He bit a little white girl. I thought they were gonna kick us out because, you know, white community come together. They like me on the one antenna. Oh my God, we heard, he, heard your dog bit Shelly. I was like, who the fuck told you? Well, it's in the neighborhood. Everyone talks. I said, ain't nobody talk to me. The fuck y'all gonna tell you? you sh she shouldn't, your dog shouldn't bite Shelly. Uh, She's a little white girl. I told his stupid ass not to bite Shelly, but he fucked it up because he said Shelly touched him and he fucked her ass up. I'm sorry. And I, and I had to fuck him up, right? And I had to go talk to his mo her mother. I bought her some granola bars. And <laughs> gave her a, uh, <laughs> a, a Starbucks card and shit. I'm trying to make up with, you know, she was like, oh, it's no worries. He barely broke the skin. 
She's fine. She's fine. She's fine. You might want to put him on the leash. She's he just she's okay. I was like, you for real? You ain't gonna sue a motherfucker? If that was a black mama, she ripped her arm off. We going to court. I don't give a fuck. Her arm right there. We had to sew it back on. Your dog a monster. And I, I was like, man, I wish you would have told me that before I fucked my dog up. I wouldn't have beat his ass. And I mean, I got to do a disclaimer. White folk, black folk beat the shit out they dog <laughs> when he fuck up or he shit on the floor. We know y'all a little more considerate. I'm not putting y'all down, but y'all love animals. Y'all don't give a fuck. During Katrina, y'all would pick up a boatload of dog. Nigga be like, help me, we'll be back. <laughs> You try to refund the boat, the dog higher. But the motherfucker. <laughs> but, but, but I, we fuck our dog up. I was in Petsmart, and this, this old white lady had this little dog, and he shit up from aisle 10 all the way to aisle one. Just shit all the way up through the aisle. I was like, ma'am, your dog's shitting up the store. Your dog is shitting up the store. She turned around, oh my God, Sebastian, did you make a boom boom? Oh, Sebastian, no, 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 no. Oh, Sebastian. And she turned around and gave him a little motherfucking snack and walked out the store. Left the doo-doo all in the goddamn store. I said, trifling motherfucker. Man, black house, you can't, your dog shit on that floor. My dog shit at my grandmama's house. Turd this big. My grandfa grandma, I knew she was gonna fuck his ass up. She, 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 bring his ass here. Come out. Come out. When, a, when you hear old lady say that, come out. Come out. My dog knew he, she about to fuck up. Where the keys? Where the door? Come on, man. Come on, where the door? Please, let me out this window. Come on, please. Geez. My grandma grabbed that nigga by that fat of that neck, dragged him over. And black, and black people, we always smashed the dog face in the shit. <laughs> He started fucking his ass up. He knew he was a drug. He was like, oh, shut the fuck up. Don't holler now. Oh, shit up my goddamn. You ain't got no goddamn money. <laughs> shut the fuck up. You shouldn't have did it. <laughs> Motherfucker had blood and shit all over his goddamn face. Motherfucker pissed on the floor. You gonna pee too? Disrespectful, motherfucker. <laughs> Then she threw him out in the backyard. And don't shit in my grass, either. My dog out in the backyard hollering, Boo! Shut your fucking ass up before I fuck up your ass again. Boo! Finally, he got tired of hollering. He out there speaking English. He out there like, help, help, help. Help, help. Help. Uh, help. Help, help. Help. Uh, help! This concerned white man said, oh my God, is that dog crying for help? Yes, help me! Next thing you know, the National Guard, the ASPCA, <laughs> and SWAT was surrounding my grandmama's house. <laughs> she, she wasn't even fade. She came out with her second Sunday wig on in her house coat with a cigarette talk. Snitching motherfucker. And she looked at them like, for real? And he shit on my goddamn carpet? Well, take the motherfucker then. I don't need his ass. And went on back in the house. I was standing out there, please don't take my dog. Please don't take my dog. Grandma said, well, go with his ass then. <laughs> Farewell, Rusty. <laughs> Black folks don't play with kids or dog. We fuck both of them up. You know, I, I got my son. I don't even think he ever got an ass whooping. He need one. He need one. Bad and motherfucking nigga be itching for it like a crackhead. Like, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. You know, you see black folks do that when they, 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 they it's building. Sit, sit down, sit down now. You need to sit down. Go over there and sit down. When you get to this level, sit your ass down. I'm gonna fuck you up, you don't sit down. See, that's too many sit downs, because back in the day, my mom would say, sit down. Sit down. Sit your ass down. When you get up from bleeding, sit down.
We ain't play. My mom used to say, boy, I wish, I wish that child come over my house. I'll beat the fuck out of him. I said, well, he's never coming over there. I don't want you to beat the fuck out of him. What is that? How much beating is that? <laughs> Till he stop fucking. He ain't fucking. I mean, beat the fuck out of him. And my mom used to say, you want me to fuck you up? You ever did that for me? You want to get fucked up? <laughs> Never understood what fucked up is. But fucked up is a different cry. You know, you ever get fucked up before? It's a different cry record. Ass woman cries like, ah, <laughs> ah, <laughs> 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 This is a getting fucked up cry. <laughs> You better let it out. Ah! Ah! Tell her that, Holly, I ain't even hurt you yet. What the fuck you mean? I can't even feel my ears and my neck. You know you getting your ass whipped, you get neck and ear, ear whips. Yo, she hit your eyes and shit. They call that child abuse now. You can't even fuck your kid up no more. They'll report you. Hey, unhand that child. You want it, bitch? <laughs> My son saw a kid get his ass whooped, fucked his day up. This little boy, mama gave him three times. Come over here. Stop touching that. Then I say, stop touching that. Pat, pat, move. She was holding the baby, beating the fuck out of him. My son was like, Daddy, do something. <laughs> I am. I'm letting you watch this shit to let you know you're gonna get this shit someday. He laughed at the ass whooping joke. <laughs> yeah, okay. It's coming. I don't give a fuck. We're gonna whoop you in front of your white friends. That's gonna do it. It's gonna change their life and your life. <laughs> There's some white kids get their ass whooped. I, I had a white friend. His mama fucked them up. He hit him with a, pan, a roasted pan one time. He didn't come back with a fucking cigarette. Where am I goddamn changing my cigarette? I don't know, Mom. Boom! That nigga had corn and baked chicken running down his damn face. And she looked at me and said, you got my change? No, ma'am, I get the fuck out of here. <laughs> But nowadays, you can't beat your kid. They be calling, oh, he shouldn't do that shit. Ass woman kept me out of jail. Shit, yeah, ass woman kept me. Kept, I'm here telling these jokes instead of fucking in the penitentiary and uh, uh, shooting at somebody. I swear to God, that ass woman. I know somebody, I never got an ass whooping. I'm not in jail. Well, because you wasn't no nigga like me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I, I knew my power. I, I, I knew my ignorance. I could have went there, but, you know, thank you, Lord, for he got in my, got in my ass because I would have been out there bad. Now, I'm just a husband now. I'm grown as fuck now. I love my wife. I'm going to be with her. And a lot of comedians don't exalt their wife. I got to exalt mine. She my boo. She keep me, keep me girty, huh? I don't know why she with me, but I hope she never wake up. You know, she a little petite thing, 140 pounds, finding the motherfucker. I don't know why she with me. I ain't, I ain't got nothing against big girls. I think big girls are sexy. But when y'all, you know, when you wear, when you and your girl wear the same size shirt, <laughs> that's Mission Impossible. You understand me? We can't do no hard fucking. We can't do none of that. We ain't gonna be like, push your titties up, push yours down, <laughs> move your stomach to the right, move yours to the left. Find my pussy, find my dick. <laughs> you down there trying to go down there to her thigh, wetting the motherfucker. I'm like, you know what, let's put our clothes on. <laughs> and go to Golden Corral. <laughs> it was hot in the motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. I, I knew she was one for me. She found my dick for both of us. You understand me? So I hold your stomach up and don't let it down till I get from under there. <laughs> 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 
She was down there like she working on a Chevy truck. I was like, did you see it? <laughs> yes, he looks very scared. <laughs> Tell him I miss him. I knew she loved me because she used to let me get on top, but before I lost the weight, I went, but she let me put that whole 550 on, you understand? I was on, I was, yeah, I was on that breaking it down, giving her, giving her belly and dick. I was giving her blick. <laughs> you know that blick, 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 <laughs> blick. Give it an 80% belly and 20% dick. I don't know where the... <laughs> I don't know where the dick was going, but that belly was all in her guts. <laughs> you know, but she with me, you understand? You know, I'm there, I'm there for the duration. Eh? And she talking about she leave me, I said, well, let's get out of here. Yeah, I can't take care of myself. I don't know what none of my drawers is. Uh, I mean, this new world, it, it's different now. You, you don't want to be out in these streets. Why, why where, think about I'm cheating? I ain't cheating on shit. I, I, I know what the fuck my house is. I ain't nothing out here. These girls want too much. They want these young girls doing too good. Got to go down and eat everything. I ain't trying to put my mouth on everything. Fuck all that. That's why we was in this pandemic, all that booty. I'm sorry, brother. This brother stopped laughing when I said that. <laughs> Motherfucker look right at me. Yeah. He like, all right, man, let it go now. <laughs> it took me forever to eat the coochie. I ain't rushing into that. <laughs> my lady come on with attitude, slamming door. What's your problem? Well, I was with my white girlfriend Rebecca. She said I'm mad at your coochie every night. I was like, Don't y'all have work to do? <laughs> the fuck y'all sit up there talking about eating coochie? Yeah, that don't sound like that's very productive. <laughs> and then I said, And I'm trying to figure out why my man don't do it to me. I'm like, oh, Here we go with this bullshit again. How many times I gotta tell you I'm allergic to seafood? He <laughs> said, you better get a Benadryl and an EpiPen and get down there. So I got my EpiPen and my <laughs> Benadryl. And I went on down there. I ain't want to lose it. So I do it with my eyes open. <laughs> Real good. Cause, Cause them hoes too close together. You close your eyes, your tongue fall out of red lobster. <laughs> and end up in Willy Wonka the Chocolate Factory. <laughs> and a woman don't say shit. She just, she just lay back. Mm. <laughs> what then got into him? <laughs> He done got drowsy on me as soon as I start talking about that. This motherfucker gonna nod off. He's like, ah, here he go with that bullshit. These two motherfuckers with glasses are dangerous. <laughs> that must be the booty eating crew over here. I ain't doing that shit. Fuck that. I don't like it. My finger bust through the toilet paper. You understand me? You can't get that smell off your finger for six months. <laughs> Still there. I really wanted some Doritos after this. <laughs> I, I want that same smell on my lips and mustache and gum. No, no, no. I can't believe you guys, you young guys. That's a young man game. Eating booty, that, that's young. That ain't, that ain't my age anyway, that's kids. That, that, that like my man with the mask on right here. <laughs> you got the safest people in the house. Everybody gonna die the fuck off and y'all gonna survive with that toilet tissue on your face. <laughs> Some of these motherfuckers still skinning. <laughs> oh, you see what happened in China? Nigga, it's over. Whatever the fuck happened, you already got it. You live, you live in Katrina. This month, you survived Katrina. You shouldn't even be afraid of goddamn COVID. That shit on the back of Lysol can. <laughs> 
They done tricked you niggas. Y'all niggas scared to death. Oh, no, let me put my mask on. You scratch your booty, touch your mask. Scratch your balls, touch your mask. You right back in the pandemic. <laughs> Some of you, he might want them safe niggas eat the coochie, pull it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's a young man getting that booty eating. Yeah, that young man, because a grown man ain't gonna do that shit. First of all, you're like, oh, no, 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 no. Even if you're a sugar daddy, let me let go, hold on now. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't pay two, two months on your card note. Paid your lecture bill and bought your kids two weeks worth of lunchables. <laughs> we had a deal now. Now you want me to eat your turd cutter? <laughs> I'm a man of God. I can't believe. <laughs> she tried to talk in. Don't knock it till you're trying. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Times have changed. Let me see it. Let me see it. Let me look at it. Let me see it. Get up on the bed, let me look at it. <laughs> All right, I guess I'd do it. <laughs> you gotta go fresh enough, you gotta get them toilet paper crumbs, I'd crack your ass. <laughs> I mean, damn, I'd be in the church all Sunday to my... <laughs> You can do it all you want. You can do it all you want. You young people, that's on you. If you got a man eat your booty, you better not let him tell you any secrets. <laughs> Can't whisper in your ear. He'll get your ear infection and make, make him bring all his own cups and silverware. I ain't never did that shit. I, you know, but I'll keep it real with you. I, I was a young comic way back in the day. Yeah, I did. I had my booty ate before. You know, I didn't do it, but somebody else did me. I didn't even ask for it. I was in Baton Rouge, so. <laughs> I did a show, wasn't as packed and nice as this. I got done, the other lady wanted to kick it with me. I like you, I want to hang out with you. All right, we got my money, went to Applebee. Got done, <laughs> go back to my hotel. You know, he in it. She all tongue out of my mouth, she was freaky. Maybe, you know, she pulled her tongue out of my mouth, and looked at me and said, I like you, motherfucker. I said, I like you too, motherfucker. <laughs> Next thing you know, she started kissing down my chest. Uh, and he got down to my belly button, went past my belly button. I said, oh, shit. <laughs> about to blow on that pipe. <laughs> went right past the pipe. <laughs> I said, oh, no. <laughs> she about to suck on them balls. <laughs> went right past the balls. <laughs> I said, she must be French. She must be about to suck on them feet. I said, well, hang in there, girl. Don't mess with that baby, black baby toe. I don't know if that's a mole or not. <laughs> Next thing you know, she held my legs up and locked them like a UFC fighter. She was kind of strong, but I was like, let me go, let me go, let me go. Then I got serious. I said, let me go, let me go, let me go. And finally, I was like, sir, please. Please, sir, let me go. <laughs> I took you to have a beat and everything, sir. Why you gonna do me like this? My mama ain't gonna understand. <laughs> I got my booty blew out by. <laughs> On my first road gig, please, sir. Please, let me go. Finally, she just dragged my legs apart and do it right in my booty. So I leave that motherfucker smacking and shit. And I snap. I said, stop it right now! 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 Stop it! 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 Please stop. 
why is she stopping? <laughs> Stop already. Yes. <laughs> she down there about 45 minutes. Had my legs in the air like I was getting a pass me or something. I felt like a hoe. I ain't know what to do. Finally, she got done. Gonna raise her face up with that shitty grin on her face. I couldn't even look at her. I'm like, what's wrong with you? I said, no, baby girl. What's wrong with you? You know, gonna just dive down in my butthole like that. What kind of life have you led? Do you know God? It's your father in your life. Are you a foster child? Do you have taste buds? <laughs> she, she looked at me like, what, you didn't like it? I said, I never said that. <laughs> but I didn't ask for it either. And the real question is, how many booty holes have you ate like that? Cause I had your tongue all in my goddamn mouth. Have I been eating other people's ass that I don't know about? Tell me right now. Keep it real with you ladies and gentlemen. I broke up with that young lady immediately, two years later. <laughs> but I'm no doctor at all. I'm no doctor, but if you out here heating booty holes in these troubled times. You may have COVID-19. <laughs> Do your research. Check out the symptoms. The first signs of COVID-19 is no taste. <laughs> no smell. <laughs> you can't have neither one you put a booty in your mouth. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I've been a little bit of a Yeah. 